In this video, we're gonna be using Bib and Tucker Bitter Orange and the Supply SE 2.0 in matte black. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using a cream that I've never used before, a brand at least, Bib and Tucker. And this was sent to me by the inspector from the Inspector's Den. I'll link his channel below. And this is Bitter Orange, and this comes out of the UK or England, more specifically. Um, lightly scented, and exactly what you get is bitter orange. It's not a bright, booming orange, just a mellow, bitter orange. And this one has activated charcoal, so it's jet black <laughs> in color. So the lather should be uh, interesting to look at. Let's show you the notes as they describe it right there. What I get mostly is just, I just get a bitter orange. I think the way they, the name has sort of captured the way it smells for me. Again, lightly scented. We'll show you the ingredients right there. And we look forward to giving this a go. I don't know what to expect because I've never used this brand before. Um, the cost on it, by the way, is $11.99 on Amazon for 5.3 ounces or $2.26 an ounce, which is an exceptional price. And I'm having trouble getting the lid back on the jar there. There we go. I think I got, no, it's still sort of cross-threaded. It's got, there we go. Got to be careful there. <laughs> anyway, the razor for today is the black, matte black Supply SE 2.0 injector. Uh, an injector razor by Supply, and I've got the third plate on it, or the number three, the most uh, efficient. I had the really bright copper one, but I sold that one to a viewer, John Hart, and got the black one because the fingerprints on that copper one just drove me nuts. It just, I, I couldn't deal with it. <laughs> but really nice razor, and we look forward to getting a good shave today. 24 hours of growth, and I do have a little skin blemish right there, so if we open that up, we won't worry about it. No big deal. I'm gonna start off with a little PAA cube, the pre-shave cube, and just get a little of that goodness going, just because I'm trying to work through it. And again, as you can see here, it it just hangs in there. It just continues to hang in. And I'm, I've been using it almost every day. Been using it completely for head shaves, like using only the cube trying to burn through it and when they get down to a certain point it's like they're just very reluctant to to yield they're just like i'm gonna hang around you're gonna get your money's worth <laughs> or at least that's what it appears to me and we're just trying to work it up a little bit and get it sort of frothed up a little bit could probably add a little more moisture to it but i'm gonna rinse my hands off first you don't want to operate uh, any type of sharp object object with uh with, the, with wet hands, I should say. Let's get a little more moisture there. And by the way, all the products used today, I will link below. Uh, and there's a look at the lather there. As you can see, it's, it's that activated charcoal really colors it. The brush for today is the Razor Rock 400. And let's see how we do. I don't think I've ever seen a, a lather quite this color, on me at least, maybe on other people. You can definitely... <laughs> You can definitely see the activated charcoal in there. And the activated charcoal, some people think it improves skin conditions, absorbs imperfection, this, that, and the other thing. I don't know if it does or not. But it's in the cube also, by the way. But not a bad lather. It lathers okay. I think you can see that. This one <laughs> it looks like I'm putting one of those uh, masks on my face. You know that sometimes ladies put on their face and peel off. I've seen masks of this color, but never... I don't think I've ever made a lather of this color. This is a first. Thank you, Inspector. Uh, but no quality issues on lather as far as, you know, you can see a good sheen in there. So we'll set that aside. And uh, it is definitely dark gray. An interesting color and an interesting scent. Again, the scent is not going to blow you over. Um, it's just, like I said, a bitter orange is, is what I get light nothing spectacular and let's get going with our supply and this fly razor comes with uh, three settings they call them for efficiency and even for me now keep in mind i like blade feel and i'm not averse to aggressive grazers razors excuse me even on the three plate i find this to be a very comfortable razor it does a good job and there aren't you know as far as i know Apart from the 3D printed uh, razors that are being made, I don't know that anybody else is producing injector razors anymore. They may be. 
Um, but if there is, there's just a handful, just a few. I don't think there's a ton of injector razors being produced, but supply is uh, sort of the leader there, I would say, in modern um, injector, injector razors. And it's feeling pretty good so far. We did open up that little blemish, which I expected, so I knew that before I started. So I'm not concerned about that at all. Like I always say, when I go over a blemish like that, it doesn't belong there anyway. So I will keep <laughs> cutting over it. Doesn't bother me, it shall heal. But anyway, very nice. Nice and smooth on this first pass. You can feel the razor doing its work. But not a ton of uh, blade feel, even on this third plate, but it feels nice. As you can see there, I don't know if you, you can see those white little pieces of salt remaining. And as I go over them, you can see them being removed by the razor. My pieces of salt, I just mean color, of course. Because a lot of my beard is white now. And so sometimes they're kind of hard to see. It's a mixture, sort of salt and pepper at this point. Very nice. When I had hair, it was um, gray and white, mostly. There wasn't much darkness left in it. But we don't have to worry about that now, do we? <laughs> all right, first pass was uh, very nice, very smooth, no problems at all. I really like this apply. Um, it's a heavy razor, uh, even with this um, alloy. They do offer a stainless steel as well. Uh, let's re-lather. And put this gray stuff back on the face here. I'm not having any uh, problems with irritation or anything like that. Almost looks like I'm painting my face, you know, like with the paint due to this color because it's just, it's an unusual color of lather to see on someone's face. <laughs> but it feels fine and it's slick. We've got good moisture in it. It just looks pretty uh, unique. There's probably other soaps out there that have this much activated charcoal as well, but it feels okay on the skin. I'm not getting any sort of burning or anything like that. And again, this is out of England. And, uh, you know, England is known for, for their uh, companies that make soaps and creams. You've got the three T's, Trumper, True Fit and Hill, and Taylor of Old Bond Street. Um, a lot of good creams. I would call them classics, you know, at this point, they've been around a very long time, but they're still around and they're still good. In my opinion, I like to use them once in a while. All right, let's get going with pass two. I think the supply razor here is in fairly intuitive in terms of the angle you use. I don't think it's a difficult razor to use at all. Um, it just gets it done. It does have a long handle, but it doesn't bother me. Um, would I like one with a shorter handle? Yeah, if they ever made one with a shorter handle, I could use if they took an inch or so off it, I think. I don't know, I guess I'd have to try it and see how it felt, but uh, this is one of those razors where the long handle doesn't bother me, but a lot of times um, I don't prefer longer handle, handled razors. Um, no problem, really. Only thing we've done there is open that blemish up that I told you about, but apart from that, it's feeling good, no problems whatsoever. It's funny when I rinse it off all that gray <laughs> in the sink, it just looks, it looks wild. Uh, this is a very uh, interesting looking soap. Let's put it that way. Very nice though. Um, would this be one I would buy? I would say no based on the scent. Um, just the scent doesn't do anything for me. But if you found another one with a scent you liked at its price, I think the lather here, hopefully you can see that it's certainly doing its job. It's plenty slick enough and all that. I'm not detecting any quality problems. Now I can't tell you if it's gonna dry out your face or something like that because we're all different in that regard and most of these shaving soaps don't dry me out. So, I don't know how that's going to feel or the post or anything like that. Because again, I don't want to evaluate those properties because I'm going to 
After this shave, I'll use uh, alum, I'll use witch hazel, then I'll use a, an alcohol-based aftershave. And that's gonna cut through most of the purported skin conditioning agents in most soaps, all those astringents. But that's where it works best for me. All right, as you can see, the blemish there is still bleeding. I had a good feeling that we would open that one up today, but again, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm just gonna roll right with it. Uh, no problem at all. And we're gonna start up with our third and final pass here of the Bib and Tucker Bitter Orange. And that's what it is, Bitter Orange. It smells exactly as the name would indicate. And this stuff here is like, uh, it's like you mis mixed, uh, it looks like you mixed spackle, you know, the stuff you patch holes with or texture ceilings with. It looks like you mix spackle with gray paint. That's <laughs> what it looks like. It's a, definitely a, uh, a unique presentation in terms of the color. Let's get some of that knocked down. I can't remember uh, ever having used a soap that was quite this color, the lather. Maybe I haven't, I've forgotten. I mean, I've used a ton over the years and sometimes I forget, like somebody will ask me if I've ever used something and I'll go, I don't think so. And then I'll go back and search on this channel and my old channel and it'll be there. And I'm like, oh, I don't remember. <laughs> I mean, when you're in the, when you start approaching as many soaps as I have used, um, you just, sometimes you just start forgetting. Razors too, sometimes I'll forget I use a particular razor. You know, if I haven't used it for a long time or maybe I still don't own it, I just don't remember. <laughs> it's just been, uh, there's been so many things come through my den, so to speak, that, uh, Sometimes I lose track. Let's wipe that off a little bit and get on with our third and final pass. You can see that there's definitely decent hydration in there. No problem with that whatsoever. Again, I do enjoy the supply razor here. I think it's a good shaver. No problems at all. It's mild feeling. I think I have the third plate on here. I'm pretty sure I changed it to the third plate. Still to me feels non-threatening. But again, I always like to caveat that um, I sort of prefer some blade feel, so. You may think it um, feels a little, perhaps a little more blade feely than I do. Blade feel is just something that I'm accustomed to and I enjoy having razors that are fairly efficient. But I will say the Bib and Tucker in terms of uh, slickness, no problems. How the face will handle it after i don't know boy but when you rinse it's just it's very dark in the sink it looks pretty wild but we're not having any issues and that's the main thing it's providing the needed slickness and again the scent is just okay for me it's not offensive but it's not anything i would uh it's not anything i would really seek out but perhaps if you found a scent from Bib and Tucker that you really liked, it might be one to try. It's a good budget type cream. And it's definitely plenty slicky enough. Slick enough, not slicky. <laughs> Very nice, no problems. I'm enjoying the uh, black <laughs> supply razor. Again, it's still got some good heft, even with this alloy um, metal. This one is not stainless, but there's a fair amount of heft on it. So if you like razors with some heft, you know, maybe you uh, would enjoy this one. Now let's just sort of touch up a little bit. We're using the uh, new supply blade that they are having manufactured themselves, or they're making it themselves. And uh, it feels very good. This is like the third time I've used this particular blade and it feels good. I don't know where they're making it, but it's in uh, 
It's sort of being beta tested by us right now. Feels good. It's nice and smooth. Very nice. All right. Looks like I got dirt on my face from that green. <laughs> That's going to be tough to rinse off, I bet. All right. That is it for the shaving portion. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap. Then we followed up with the alum. And of course we closed that up with no problem with the alum. That's the only place that I had any stinging. So that was a nice smooth shave. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse and then we dried off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying our Thayer's uh, cucumber magic because it's made by witches. Um, nice shave today with the Supply SE 2.0. Uh, very nice injector razor. I like the fact that you can take it apart, take the blade out and clean it. Um, I like the supply razor. It's very, very good for me. The cream today worked well too. Bib and Tucker, bitter orange. Again, the scent on this, uh, not remarkable, but it was plenty slick enough and it comes at a very good price on Amazon, 226 an ounce. Not bad at all. Maybe if you found a scent you enjoyed, it might be worth trying. Razor Rock 400 brush. And we're going to close it out today with the Sterling Orange Chill, just to get a little more orange going. And this one has menthol, so I'm going to get a little cooling with that as well. And we'll be off to the races and having a beautiful day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a beautiful shave and a beautiful day as well. Thanks so much for coming back and joining me every day. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.